Hey good viewers, welcome back to the Good View Woodworks channel. My name is Nathan and today we are delivering the conference table. It's going to be so awesome. I want you to do me a favor, check it out and let me know what you think. So we got it all strapped to the truck. And buddy Hector's in the truck, he's gonna help us unload. And we are gonna deliver it to the company and see if they like it. You guys ready? I know I am. There we go. So we'll get the legs in first and then. Oh my goodness. That is cool. Dang. <laughs> yeah. That thing's a beast. Yeah, I was just gonna wipe it down. <laughs> this is cool. Yeah. They have to be, that thing's heavy. That's some workmanship there. All right, good viewers, we are here at SEM Wealth Management, right? That's the yep, only company. Right. And um, he just got his brand new black walnut epoxy river table for his conference table here. Um, and so we're going to ask him just a couple of questions and see what he thinks about it. So one, we want to know, have you ever seen an epoxy table in person before? No. And two, what do you think about your personal table? I, this is, it, it just blew me away because we... You know, we're a unique company. We're, we're different than every other financial advisor out there. Mm -hmm. And so when we got this office, we just said we were patient to say we want something unique. Yeah. And I didn't know this this was a thing. We've sat at a lot of big fancy conference tables over yeah. the years. And, 
and our our office in Tucson had a giant marble table. And, oh, nice! Thing. You know, but this is you know when you started when I met you and you started explaining that what you could do, I was like, all right, yeah, give it a shot. Nice, yeah, and we appreciate that you gave us a shot. So, um, so Jeff, um, tell us a little bit about your company. Sure. Yeah. We're um, uh, we're investment managers for other financial planners, okay. which is one thing that makes us unique. So okay. they would do all the financial planning and then we work out what types of investments we use mm -hmm. um, with them. And what makes us really different is we're, we follow engineering principles. So it's all data-based, no emotions. I don't just sit around at my computers and say, well, I think this is going to happen. And, yeah. Um, so it's, it's, it's all dealing with numbers and, and adjusting the things so there's no emotions. And um, you know, like I said, we wanted something unique and, and yeah. different. And that's our, that's always been our motto is we're different. So now when clients come in to meet with us, um, chances are they've never sat at an epoxy table. It, yeah. <laughs> so, um, when it comes to somebody like me with a small business, how could you benefit our business? Oh, well, I mean, that's, that's, you know, the, the real thing is always, you know, to get started, you, you got to know how much money's coming in and how much is going out. Right. Right. And one thing I've always said to small business owners is, it's really easy to think of it as one big pile of money, mm -hmm. and you know, especially when you got a baby now, and yeah, right. you know, just like you're constantly, you know, okay, cool, we got a little extra money. Mm -hmm. But it's important if you want to turn your small business, like we started with, um, just out of you know my partner's house in, in Tucson, Arizona. If you want to turn it into an actual bigger business, mm -hmm. you treat it just like that. Okay, you. You have different checking accounts. Yeah. You you set aside time. This is when I work on the business. You pay all your bills out of your business account, mm -hmm. and then you you have that budget for your business. Okay. And then, the goal is to get to the point where it's paying you a salary. Right. Right. And then once you're getting a salary, then you start reinvesting into the business to grow it. And okay. You know, just you know, I see so many small businesses treat it like a piggy bank. <laughs> yeah. And, all right, we got a thousand dollars this month, and I'm gonna go spend. It. That's right. It's easy to get trapped. <laughs> it, it's in that trap. Yeah. yeah so to, to go from a small business to a medium or larger business, you, you from day one you treat it like like you're gonna be a, a big business. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. So guys, if if anybody out there and YouTube is looking at this video and wanting something like that. Um, we're going to ask Jeff. So Jeff, how can these people reach you if they need to? Oh, sure. Um, we have a very meager YouTube channel. Um, <laughs> we don't have the followers YouTube, but um, scmwealth.com um, is, is the easiest way to, to find us. And, and the website there, we have a trader's blog where we talk about the markets, links to our videos, you know, cool. all sorts of things like that. And you know, we take about one third of your followers. So. Okay, awesome. Yeah, you can have them. <laughs> you're, you're teaching, you're schooling us on social media. There we go. Well, guys, do me a favor and check out semwealth.com. Is that what it is? Yep. semwealth.com. Check out his stuff. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that already. And like always, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. Pro staff recording.